have a bit of an unusual combo for you today as I have some news regarding Uncharted 4 and Gears of War 4. I know having those two games on two rival systems, including in one video, crazy! But the first thing I want to talk about today is Uncharted 4. Now, we have all seen in trailers, at least, how graphically appealing Uncharted 4 looks, whether or not it looks that good on release and the frame rate uh, problems that it may or may not suffer on launch is another thing entirely, but the graphics look pretty. But despite the fact that it looks pretty nice, Naughty Dog thinks that even more can be done with the hardware of the PlayStation 4. Now these comments come from the lead designer Ricky Cambier who spoke to Jewel Shockers and he said quote there are definitely areas that I can see that we'll be able to do better things already after this. You know we have some really smart programmers at Naughty Dog and I'm already pretty surprised at what they can do. I have a hard time seeing that it takes the same evolutionary jump as you know the difference between the first Uncharted versus The Last of Us is enormous but there is no doubt that the next thing we do, we're going to get even more out of that PlayStation. Sadly, he didn't go into detail as to what areas he believes can be improved for future titles, but he did say it'll probably be their next game where we find out what else they can squeeze out of the PlayStation 4. And how based in reality these comments are, well, it kind of depends, as I said, based on Uncharted 4's graphics performance and all that good stuff when it finally launches. It's all good to have a really sparkly game, but if it doesn't run smoothly, well, we've all been there many times now. Thankfully, it won't be long till we find out, as Uncharted 4 is, of course, out on May the 10th. So, moving swiftly on to Gears of War 4. As Rod Ferguson, who of course is studio head over at Developer Coalition, has confirmed that the game will support split screen in all modes. And he said during the Game Informer show that the studio can quote, never get rid of split screen. And any way you play Gears of War, you can play split screen. Now basically in multiplayer this does mean that the frame rate will drop down to 30 instead of the 60 for the full screen experience, but given that the Xbox One is literally going to be rendering double the data. I hardly think we can blame them. Now, he also talked about an upcoming beta, calling it a quote-unquote technical beta and not a marketing demo. And he continued saying, quote, Honest to God, it's a technical beta. What you're going to play is basically an alpha build of our multiplayer. It's actually, hey, we have brand new technology on our servers and we have brand new features on our clients and we want to be tested we want that to be tested at scale, and we want your help. And for those of you wondering when this multiplayer beta is happening, it's on April 18th for some people, but it is open on April the 24th, so not too long of a wait for those of you who want to see what the Coalition have in store. So happy news that we will be getting split screen as well as a open beta. That actually does sound like a beta. Testing multiplayer with a huge amount of players is obviously key to making sure that it works on launch. We do not want to have another Master Chief collection on our hands where the multiplayer is horribly broken upon release. So if an open beta is the answer, an actual test of stress with lots of players, you know, barrel rolling onto the servers and, you know, rugby tackling it, I think that's probably for the best and will probably result in a more complete product when the game comes out. So there you go. So that is the strange but somehow tasty combination done with for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.